Hi guys, welcome to another Minecraft Mind tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to add your very own custom structure to the game. So, first of all, let's go and build our structure. That's what you can see behind me. Uh, you can see the structure getting built. And yeah, so your structure needs to be within a 32 by 32 by 32 radius because we're actually going to be using structure blocks for this tutorial. So yeah, if we actually go inside you should be able to see that I have a chest with no items in, a furnace and a brewing stand. Now what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be filling in these inventories with data, uh, with like items and stuff. So it's like say in the furnace, uh, let's we'll put some stuff in the furnace and the brewing stand. The chest, I want to use a loot table. For the furnace and the brewing stand, we can't use a loot table uh, because that's not a thing for furnaces and them. But if we go and get ourselves some coal, I think that's what I'll get. I'll get ourselves uh, nine pieces of coal, maybe. Uh, a bit of never wart. Uh, and a water bottle, maybe. Or like yeah water bottle so yeah like say put these in obviously it's got no fuel so it won't start and when we go and generate this we will actually have these items in there as it is it will save it with a structure block but the chest we want to do something different so once you built your stuff and you filled in your inventories how you want uh, we could also do it with a chest and it'll keep it in exactly the same spot, but we're going to use a loot table. Uh, let's just set the time to zero. And if we go and get ourselves a structure box, so give at p structure underscore block. There we go. And what we want to do is I'm going to place it right down here in the corner. We'll select save. And then I'm going to call this structure a cabin. Now, the relative position is relative position from this block. I know that the bottom left should actually be here, and I know it's seven by seven by five, I think. So the relative position, it'd be zero, because it's gonna be on the same level. It's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be zero, and it's gonna be minus seven on the Z. Because uh, if I press F3, this is the negative Z, and this is minus seven. And it's seven, by five by seven now what we can actually do uh, is we can uh, if we do done it should bring a box around the area that we're gonna save and that's that's what we're gonna do and you see how that's the relative position down here We've got little lines here and uh, what we actually need to do is seeing as we're going to be using uh, a loot table for this I'm gonna just use one of the default ones we need to actually use a custom data tag name and I've actually got a class which you can download from the description of the video, um, which will basically allow us to do loot tables and that lot. So the way it works is we need to type in the blocks that we're going to generate. So it's a Minecraft chest, then we do a space, and then we do the name of the uh, loot table. Now, a good thing to do, if I just press Control shift h in Eclipse, and I'll bring up the loot table list. You can also search the loot table list. Uh, that won't come up for you. That only comes up for me because I searched it. Uh, you can see a list of all the loot tables that we've got in the game. And like, so what we put here is this name here. So what it registers as. So for us, it's going to be chests slash spawn bonus chest. That's the chest that I want to include. But say if we change it to the end city treasure, we could do that entirely. Uh, say we want it to be an entity I haven't actually set it up to spawn an entity but we can completely do that I'll show you the code of what we've done at the moment and if you this doesn't have to specifically be a chest it could be a dropper or a dispenser they're the other blocks that have it and uh, you can also set a damage value to so say it's a non vanilla block you can set a damage value by doing space after this and then the damage value 
So yeah, so if you just mark this, that will actually uh, work with the structure generator. Okay, so there's one last thing that we need to do before we actually finish with this. We need to actually give ourselves a structure uh, void. Now, if we go on into here and we do turn on invisible blocks, you can see all the blocks, it'll set as air. And inside, we do want all of this to be air. We don't want to have other blocks spawning inside, but on the outside, we want these not to be air. We want these to be whatever the ground is. So if we just put where all of these are, fill this in with structure voids, this will basically mark it as don't set this to air, ignore this block when saving. Uh, all the other blocks, like the airs, will be saved inside. So if we just fill this all in with structure voids, like so and you'll see inside that these are all air blocks now we don't collide with these because it won't actually save so turn off invisible blocks like so and all we do is we click uh, we just press save and yep we've saved it we can now save the game we can close it we don't need it anymore and yes let's head over to the code once it's finished that there we go so this is a class that you'll be able to download and it's got it it will do everything that you need it to do basically uh it will basically generate the structure that you pass into it so the structure name is the name that we called the structure when saving so that was just cabin um and what it basically does is structures are referred to as templates in uh, minecraft so uh we need to get the template manager and basically get the template we automatically pass in the mod ID. If your mod ID isn't in reference, just pass, uh, put it in here. And yes, so what we do is we actually check whether it can spawn at this place, which uses its method down here, which checks whether the corners are valid. That's basically like, say you're on a cliff, there's a massive difference in the corners. So using a variation up here, so it will allow it for to be two blocks down but if it's any greater than that it will not allow it and say you know this isn't right uh, don't generate at all and then what we do is we place it with a random rotation we add the blocks to the world uh, we then get all the data blocks so that's all the uh, data structure blocks so that's the one where we filled in the chest and that lock with the data and what it'll do is it'll pass the data uh, it gets the block from the first bit which should minecraft chest for us we then if it was free long we add get the right state from the metadata otherwise we just use the default one and then if it's got a facing value we'll set the rotation to the opposite of the uh, rotation of the uh, structure so it faces towards you when you go in is how that's set up and then we set the block that we're going to set and the tile entity will set the loot table correctly from what we said. So uh, that's the generator. We need to actually make a I world generator. So if we just call this structured gen in a new class and we head into here, this needs to implement I world generator then it will get us to add a new method like so and we're going to add a constructor as well and a private structure generator like so and we're just going to call it cabin generator and then if in the constructor uh, we'll just fill in the uh, the cabin generator so this just equals a new cabin uh, structure generator and it's just cabin is the name of the structure um now in generate what we need to do is do a switch uh, of the world dot provider uh, dot get dimension and what we'll do is we're only going to generate in the overworld which is dimension id zero and we're just going to run the generator and break uh, like say we wanted to do the never that's just case uh, minus one and it would break and then uh, case one is the end and then what we need to do is actually run a generator so what we're going to do is 
uh, we're going to add a private void. I'm just going to call it run generator. We're going to take in a structure generator. And we're just going to call it the generator. We're going to sport in. Uh, we want the block X and the block Z. And then uh, we also need the world as well that we get to spawn it in and finally the chance so i might uh rearrange this uh like that there you go and what we'll pass into here we'll just call it here we'll run the generator and the generator is this dot cabin generator the world is the world uh the chance that's basically the likelihood of it spawning the bigger this number is the like lower the chance so I tried it out on something like 10 earlier, which did quite a bit. So I might put it on about 150. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll obviously it's all checking it in game. Uh, we want to create two ints up here called block X. And that's going to equal to chunk X. Then it's times 16 because it's 16 blocks per chunk. And we're going to add a, rand dot, a random dot next int. And the int will just be 16 so it'll go from 0 to 16 on the end and just copy and paste this for the chunk z uh, for the block z i mean and um like there you go and that's all that done so all we need to do is first we need to spawn it if we have the chance so the way i'm going to do it is a simple math dot random and I'll just get a random double. We times it by the chance. And because we're converting it to an integer, we check if it's zero. And then that's when we will generate. So the bigger this number is, the greater this is times by, the less likelihood that it will be a zero. Is basically how that works. Um, and then all we need to do is this stock. Uh, not this a generator, it'd be the generator dot generate. We've got the world. We need to also pass in random. Uh, random, random. We'll pass in the random up here. Uh, so we pass in the random, and then the position is a new block pause. We're going to get block x. Um, now, the y position we can actually get from the structure generator class. And all we want to do is get the ground from above the world and that's block x and block z um, and then it's just block z there and that should be it uh, import block pass like so i'll just reformat that and that should spawn in at cabin uh, what the get ground from above does is it starts from the height of the world and it works its way down to try and find the ground now, things that it accepts as ground is stuff like grass, sand, snow, snow layers, mycelium, and stone. Um, stuff that it doesn't accept is water and flowing water. This is because I actually saw it generate underwater, which we're not in 1.13, so we don't get anything pretty. But in the future, this will probably work, which would be quite cool, spawning it underwater. Really, you just need to change the generate method. All you need, really, is this and uh, the placement settings and the template add blocks to world and that will simply spawn your structure in you can change how it generates um, however way you want to um, all we have to do now is register the world generator so we'll do it underneath where we did the other one in the init method in bit of everything and all we need to do is uh, register and then it's world generator and it's a new structure structure gen like so and the mod generation weight this is like where it will be placed like what order will it be so zero being the first thing like a million being like the last like very last so we'll put it on about two we'll let other stuff generate first now finally the last thing that we need to do is we need to actually tell the game where our structure is so over in our resources assets.boe uh, we're going to make a new folder and it's going to be called uh, structures structures like so 
and then here we're going to place our structure now if we head over to the bit of everything folder we head into run saves and then we open up structure tutorial which is where the world is which will also be able to get and download you can see this cabin.mbt uh, I can actually open this with MBT Explorer, it's a program I have, I might link it in the description. And there you go, the structure is down there, we can just debug run the game, and it should generate now. So let's just wait for the game to load up. The case of the game is loaded up, so if we just head into a brand new world, I'm going to call this structure gen. Now excuse the lag, this is a new world lag uh, that we're going to experience now. Uh, it will just generate the world and hopefully we see our cabin, hopefully. Um, you don't actually have to stick to just vanilla blocks in uh, your structures. Uh, you obviously, you can use modded blocks and you can use other mods blocks, but I would recommend not doing that and sticking to your own blocks, really, because if their block is not available, it basically renders your structure useless. Okay, so we should be in in a second. I'm just going to stop some of the lag hopefully Oh, yes. Yes, it, it spawned. It spawned. Brilliant. Now, you can see, majority isn't overhanging, which is good. And you could... I'm going to bump this up to 25 again. Um, you can obviously modify this to how you want. But you see inside, we have a chest with our starter loot in. And it's facing towards us, which is exactly what we want. Now, if you fly about a bit... We'll hopefully see another one. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you build some awesome things. If you do, just mention me on Twitter. Show me your amazing structures. And thank you guys for watching. Don't like, comment and subscribe. I'm out.